Colt Snaylock. I'm out here in the blacksmith shop. Seems like forever ago that I started this project, but it's only been about a week. I have the two torches ready to go, I think, and we're going to do a test fire today and see whether I've actually got them both fixed. Because it's only about 30 degrees out here, I've got a heat lamp going. See if I can warm the area up a bit. And also, I'm currently wearing a coat. When I go to test fire these things, I'm going to have to take that coat off. Because it's nylon. And nylon is a bad idea if you're working with flame. From what I've read, I'm only supposed to put 40 strokes of pressure into this tank. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Pump stand down. Now I believe part of the problem I had last time was I had too much wind blowing the flame away from the burner. So I'm going to try igniting it in here with the doors open. Not much wind today and hopefully doing it this way will be enough to keep it from having the problem going up to flame temperature. This torch has a valve in the back that you use to fill the Not leaking any fuel, it's just dripping it out of the tray. This torch has been dropped at some time or another, and the head dips back so the tray isn't at a flat angle and wants to leak out the back.
every time I move it just a little bit, a little more gas drips out of the torch tray. And I really don't want to have it burning on top of the torch. I'd rather spend a little time here wiping it up than a lot of time later trying to put the darn thing out. Well, we got them warming up. As you can see, it's rather cold out. It's about 30 degrees. So I might have a problem getting these things to fire off. Just have to see. Thank you. 